a new day, a new flight and a new video coming up. Hi everyone and welcome to this view video today we are going to go and do the walk around or the pre-flight checklist for uh, our flight today and you can see this is the aircraft right now it's on my back okay so basically the the walk around or the pre-flight inspection is like a, a complete checklist uh, you have to do it before starting your flight or going inside the aircraft and you have to make sure that all let's say main com components outside are good and they are in good shape they are not damaged and they are not blocked so this is the main purpose of the pre-flight inspection talking about our aircraft uh, we are going to fly the Cessna 172 but this Cessna 172 is a, a little bit modified it has the diesel engine which is the CD-155 and we are using a jet fuel 1 not uh, normal avgas uh, which generally you will find it popular on the general aviation aircrafts and we have a really advanced uh, propeller is it is not fixed pitch propeller it's adjustable uh, uh, pitch propeller so there is like a specific computer for it it uh, will automatically change the pitch to give us the most uh, optimum uh, let's say efficiency from the engine and the propeller itself rather than that we have few modifications inside also yeah it's a mess here but you can see that we have two um, garment um, let's say displays which are the g5 so we have our kind of pfd and we have our the, our hsi here on the bottom plus we have our like um different uh, gps here it's not like the normal one that you can find like the garmin one which is 420 or 530 so these are the most important changes plus we have also this panel here and you can see that we have a fadic here yeah it's it's like an airbus kind of and all these it's like an annunciator panel for all warnings if we have any issues with any system so that's it for our aircraft before going through the video, I just want to disclaim about a few information. First of all, please don't use this video as a training uh, video or for training purposes because, you know, each aircraft has its own uh, checklist and uh, procedure and you can find it on the POH of the aircraft itself. Plus, follow your airline or your academy SOP. So please don't use it for training purposes, it's just for entertaining purposes i just want to show others how we are doing this thing and uh, and our normal training day okay so that's it right now we are going to go and uh, do our pre-flight inspection and let's go okay so right now we are going to start our checklist right now so starting with the uh, interior first of all we have to double check a few things which is the AAD and the CAD here you can see which is the uh, alternate uh, engine uh, display and the combined uh, engine display so we'll turn on the battery and main bus first and after that we are going to go and double check uh, them by pressing the test button here you can see okay everything is flashing we have to check also there is a light here indicating the water level thing okay so the test was successfully done and then we are going to apply the flaps so we put it on 10 position double check visually here that everything is working okay they are set on the position and we have the indication there and then we are going to put it on fully extended position so we can double check it outside okay that's it then we will turn off the batteries we'll double check also the friction control for the power lever here or the throttle lever so it's free to move also make sure that uh, the select fuel selector is imposed and the fuel shut off is pushed in and all the circuit breakers are pushed in you can see it here so that's it from the inside and yeah because it's not the first flight today you don't have the control lock or other things so i have to double check that they are here 
we have the fitted cover here we have the dipstick here and i'm going to keep it with my myself and we have the control lock here okay after that we are going to walk from the left side of the aircraft from here and we'll make sure that the cargo compartment is already closed and locked okay and we will visualize the fuselage in general if there is like any damage here or dents um, to double check checking from downside everything looks fine so initially everything looks fine then we'll go to the horizontal stabilizer shake it a little bit yeah the aircraft is light and you can see it's moving a little bit and then we go to check the left elevator that is free to move and I'll double check also the yoke from inside that it's moving accordingly so the logic is correct plus we will double check the hinges here these the hinges okay and this is like one of the hinges and the cables which control the uh, elevator so I'm checking it right now everything looks fine and there is no visual damage rather we'll just give it a little bit of taps like this and make sure that it's a little bit free to move and I will double check also on this side that these cables are attached and the, the locks are there from here we're going to the right side of the elevator moving it without touching the trim tab because if we try to move it using the trim tab it's going to damage it double check the hinges the nuts and the lock everything looks fine the other cable here it's not damaged for the rudder control because you know right now we have another aircraft flying so it's making some noises shaking a little bit the horizontal stabilizer also make sure that there is no visual damage all the edges are smooth clean then we are going to check initially the uh, the fin itself looks fine double check the VR or the navigation antennas which give us the ILS and the VR uh, let's say connection or okay so it looks fine everything looks fine and from here we will repeat the same thing we'll double check the fuselage in general make sure that there is no dents all the poles are already set here from downside everything looks fine everything looks perfect okay then we will move to the flaps the right side of the flaps you see I'm moving it and you can hear the noise that's normal okay so you can see the mechanism here it's well attached and it has to be having kind of like free movement double check the screws here everything looks fine and no visual or visible damage then we will go to the aileron move it quite times double check also the logic inside about the yoke and then we will go and double check the the hinges here everything is fine okay then we are going to move and check the leading edge of the, run, of the wing everything looks fine make sure that the ventilation window is free nothing is there the wing strut itself it's it's on position then we'll go to the right main landing gear double check the condition okay and the marks for the creep is already set and it's in good condition then we'll go and check all the inlets for the uh, cooling systems looks fine looks fine and this one looks fine okay and the propeller in general we are going to check it looks fine and everything is smooth and everything is in place okay and i have to double check what called the gearbox because we have a variable pitchable uh, or variable pitch propellers so that's why i have to double check from this window the uh, fuel quantity or sorry the oil quantity for the gearbox i'll check it later because it's really difficult to see it inside the the let's say 
the video and then we are going to check the engine oil quantity make sure that it's filled in so take it out and you can see it's almost full so pre pre like there are marks here but it looks like very full so probably they fill it before I came here because th this engine is to use a little bit of engine oil while it's flying okay that's it and then you're going to check the static port make sure that it's free there is no any dust or anything blocking it because it's important for our instruments the second uh, ventilation window it's already free and then the leading edge also make sure it's free the stall warning vent already free the fitted cover is already looks fine there's no damages it's not blocked everything looks fine go again with the strut make sure it's fine and the wheel itself also like the same side the other side and the, on the right we are checking also the creep mark it should be on on here on the same and the main or general condition for the wheel plus we are checking the brakes if there is no if there is leaks or something doesn't look that there is a um, any leak and then we are going to check also the other side and the landing light here navigation light looks fine there is no damages everything smooth and looks fine checking the other side of the aileron we are looking inside of the aircraft and looks like it's moving freely double check all the hinges Okay, all the locks looks fine perfect and at the end we are checking the left side flaps as we check it on the right side and we are looking for the mechanism here looking fine everything looks fine so in general the aircraft looks perfect I have to double two things the main wheel right now so you, you can see that it's not fully pushed in the strut and the wheel it's in good condition and we have the creep mark already set so right now I'm just going to double check the fuel so probably we are going to refuel and probably if it was the first flight for today we are going to do some uh, fuel drainage usually we are doing it from this uh, this uh, let's say drain point and from the reservoir here that we are having before the engine itself but today we are not going to do it because it's not the first flight for today okay so so right now the aircraft is uh, filled in let's double check that the fuel quantity it's almost as we said or as we planned uh, before but yeah they are filling it more than what we need okay so we have here almost 15 gallons yeah so we are using this depth stick this depth stick is specialized to to use it for this aircraft specifically so it has some marks here and it will indicate how many gallons in the wing itself okay so on the other side also yeah it's full again and we have 16 here so 16 and 15 that's give us 31 gallons in total which is more than enough that what we need for our flight because our flight is going to take maximum 13.8 uh, gallon for like one hour and 45 uh, minutes so that's it basically okay if you like the video please just share it for with everyone and subscribe and don't hit don't forget to hit the like button okay and please again as i said at the beginning don't use this video for training purposes please always go refer to the poh of your aircraft because each aircraft has its own uh, let's say procedure or uh, walk around the procedure or pre-flight checklist uh, procedure plus you have to follow your uh, whatever it's like airline or your academy sops so yeah that's it so that's it basically okay and we are ready to go and fly for our flight see you in the next video bye bye
Thank you.